Welcome to this walkthrough of an AWS Network Architecture Diagram. In this video, we'll explore the key components and their interactions in a typical cloud-based networking setup. We begin within the AWS region, which houses a virtual private cloud, VPC. This VPC is a logically isolated network, providing the foundation for resources within this architecture. It contains public and private subnets, each protected by network access control lists, NACLs, and further segmented with route tables to control traffic flow. In the public subnet, we have NAT gateway and an internet gateway, enabling internet access for public-facing resources. An AWS internet gateway is associated with a public subnet, meaning the route table of a public subnet will have a route directly pointing to the internet gateway, allowing resources in that subnet to access the internet without needing a NAT gateway. A private subnet, on the other hand, does not have a direct route to the internet gateway and would typically use a NAT gateway to access the internet EC2 instances protected by security groups that handle public traffic. Security groups are stateful, allowing both inbound and outbound rules to secure these resources. The private subnet contains another set of EC2 instances, also protected by their own security groups. Unlike the public subnet, these instances have no direct internet access, enhancing security. To connect securely to external services such as DynamoDB, the private subnet uses a VPC endpoint. This architecture supports multiple connectivity methods. Site-to-site -site VPN. Connections link the VPC to on-premises resources via a customer gateway and VPN gateway. For high-performance, low-latency connectivity, a Direct Connect DX connection, links the corporate data center directly to the VPC via a DX location. VPC peering facilitates private communication between VPCs within or across AWS accounts without traversing the internet. A transit gateway centralizes connectivity for multiple VPCs and on-premises locations, simplifying the network topology. For monitoring and logging, the architecture includes VPC flow logs, which capture network traffic data stored in S3 or analyzed in CloudWatch. This ensures visibility into network performance and security incidents. Finally, services like DynamoDB are accessed securely from within the architecture, ensuring compliance with network and security best practices. In conclusion, this diagram demonstrates a robust, scalable, and secure AWS network architecture combining public and private resources, connectivity options, and monitoring solutions. Thank you for watching this walkthrough.